Hello everybody, this is your old friend RJ City, and today I am playing WrestleMania the Arcade Game, but not for the arcade, even though they called it the arcade game, and I found that very confusing. I'm playing it for Sega Genesis, because I enjoy the buttons. The arcade, I never really saw it in the arcade, I'm not familiar. Super NES, I, I feel like the color scheme is ugly. So, here, oh, I don't even have headphones in, no wonder I can't hear that wonderful... Yeah, that's good. That's hip. Hello, 90s. So what I believe I will be doing is the Intercontinental Championship run. I can do the World Championship later. I want to get my feet underneath me right now. Let's go to the option first, as I always use. Very easy. So you just go easy. Let's just do very easy. I feel like it's still challenging to me. I have to get my feet. I'm not familiar with the controls anymore. I like Yokozuna. I remember he would just had a flying ass drop, and it's a move that I haven't used, but I've long admired. Intercontinental, and then Yokozuna will go for a little jog here. We got. Oh, 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 oh. I love how they shake it. And Brett's pointing at you. This is exciting. This is also, you know, basically a Street Fighter ripoff. Let me. Where's the ass thing? There we go. Okay, there it is. I've got it now. Now. Oh, I'm getting it. I'm gonna get it. So close. Flying ass. Hey, okay. Finally. Thank you. Okay. What really bothered me is that so much the sweat flying. But what also bothered me is Oh fuck you. Did did I just sweat fish? Did a whole fish just come out of my ass? I think Yoko just shit a trout. This is the first fall. It's best two to three, which, if you only played games, like, if you're, if you only under, like, how do I explain this? Your only concept in the rules of wrestling was from playing this game, and then you went to, like, a show, a house show or something? What the hell is this? One fall? Where's fall two? And why isn't Yokozuna shitting trouts like he did in the video game? There we go. This is fun. Only one man in the crowd is moving. The rest are paralyzed in patriotic fear. But don't you shot water at him, which I've never noticed before. I love the song, though. This, another thing that really bothered me is that they would jump so far. You can't tell me maybe Ray Apollo could jump that far, but certainly not Matt Bourne. I'm dropping fish everywhere. I wish the fish were more of an offensive maneuver. You know, I wish you could throw the fish. Kind of like a New Zealand. There we go. One, there we go. Good stuff. Fall two. I love also they have the, the barricade, but they have the blue curtain behind it. Little, little confusing. I don't know what show the developers saw in terms of the setup, but I feel like they could have done a much, oh, is that a choke? Gotta see if I, I need a secondary move. I need to develop, I can't just do the ass the whole time. I don't think it's gonna serve me that well. Maybe it will. Jesus. Oh, fuck you. Thank you. Good night, Mr. Apollo. Done and done. And the ring, another thing that bothered me, the ring is, is way off scale. The apron is, is too big. It's too flat. And what, is this a ring? Oh, jeez. And he has... I don't have anybody. He's got Mr. Fuji. Purple Zuna. This is exciting. Never mind Undertaker versus Undertaker. We should have done Purple Zuna. I love that. Even those actions... And he just shit a trout, sorry, and a fully cooked turkey. He ate the fish raw, some sort of sushi, but the chicken, he's not a maniac. You gotta... There we go. And we're finished. But the turkey, you gotta cook. Maybe I should have put it on... Less easy. I like this wipe. I wish they used it for the TV show. He's an ass forward kind of guy. And that's what I enjoyed about playing. Like, you know, didn't like him in the ring, wasn't a fan. I would boo, you know, with my thumbs down and everything. But in a video game, oh, you can sit on these people, you can squish them. It's very enticing to always play as him. Okay. It's a little, it's a little ham fisted. It's a little too broad, the physical comedy in this, to just throw me around like I'm a 
some sort of prop doll. All right, we're moving on here. That's three in a row. That was Brett, Doink, and Purple Zuna. And here's Shawn Michaels. Very good. Say, bring it on. But this is this is heel mullet, fluffy mullet, Shawn Michaels. He had such a nice, it was like a little, nice little fluff. That was really, they spared no expense on the blow dryer in those days. And this guy sitting in the aisle here, that one fan, is really annoying. Whoa, there's nobody here. I can sit down. Probably had, you know, he was in the bleachers. His nose was bleeding and he said, let me come back. I wish you could have managers. It sucks that Fuji is only available uh, in the, the versus screen there. The verse screen? Come on. There we go. Ass forwards, and we're done. Good work. Mm. Thank you. Bad like the wonderful Victor Borga. <clears throat> Little jog getting a good warm up. Oh, Jesus. The famed team of Razor and Bam Bam. Sharp Fire, I believe, was the name. Oh, God. This is where you just have to spam the ass button and hope for the best. You'll, you'll end up hitting at least one of them. Uh, I'm getting destroyed here. This isn't, this is, now I'm happy that I played it on very easy, because this is not going well. If I can just get rid of Bam Bam, shit. Now I have to, oh shit. Now I have to throw basically, fuck me. Is that, is that Vince and maybe JR? So far away and they're so much larger than me. I want the commentators to be very big. I don't want to explain why. You gotta watch out for the fellas behind you. But see, when they hit you, it turns you around. The other thing is that the jumping is, is so... When they drop kick, when they jump off the ropes, it's so far. They have such length in their legs that you gotta really hit your buttons early. It's very front. They'll start a drop kick and drop kick like halfway across the ring. Not really a fan of that. This music I like as we go on. At first I didn't like it. It almost has a, a Ren and Stimpy game quality to it, to be honest with you. There's a, a heavy bass. Not so much on the drums. Okay. There's Razor done. Let's focus on Bam Bam. That was at least if you could focus your efforts on one, you knew the other wouldn't get up. Okay. Much better. And no one in the audience is moving. They, this is not the finish they anticipated at all. And it's also crazy to be like, holy shit, like, back in the day, this company was obsessed with the color blue. If you look at this screen, and there's blue everywhere. Really. And even the canvas, I feel like, is a, is in the blue family of off-whites. Like, I feel whoever the interior designer was, was just like, you know what's in? Blues. A lot of them. Of course, the red and the whites, but primarily blues. And that's why Lex looked like he really belonged there. Here we go, and we're finished. Good work. The old team of Undertaker and Lex Luger, and I think they did team together when Undertaker opened his coat and he had the old, what was it, like the colonial flag? It was so weird. It was a little bit of like... The Undertaker, his backstory was that he was also a fan of our founding fathers or something. It wasn't quite clear on that. They didn't, they didn't delve in too heavily. And who else was supposed to be in this game? Adam Bomb, which forever they were like, oh, it's your secret, secretly be Adam Bomb. And you fucking couldn't. Everybody tried these bullshit codes and Game Genie bullshit. Never happened. And then... I believe Jeff Jarrett was supposed to be in the game. But Jeff Jarrett was supposed to be in, like, every single game everywhere. He would just... He was a hopper. He was a nomad, shall I say. Uh, okay, this is three on one. Let me see if I can get through this. My ass is serving me well. You dance with what brung you. And a lot of people dance with their asses. And why not, I say. You got one move, you spam the fuck out of it. And that's, that's the joy of this game. You really need no technique. You need an iron will. Here's a big long jump. It's not gonna help anyone. Good work. I think the first fall is gonna go to my trout sweating ass. The electric hand buzzer. That's great. Really good, really smart stuff. Even then it was like a little broad. I would love to know what clowns they had saw. 
Clowns throw water on people, right? I think that's what they do. And balloons. We need more balloons. Big ass. Nobody home. Bam Bam slowly went to pick me up. Only to find I wasn't there. Nice back body trap. Okay, this is better. Now I have my groove, and now we're gonna have my childhood dream of Yokozuna becoming the Intercontinental Champion, as as I initially intended in my little action figures. You know, unlike Matt Cardona, who had so many just figures in there, I would put together cards, and I would write them out. I always had a writer's mind, and then I would enact them. Just in case it needed editing, or there was last minute changes, or somebody got sick or hurt. There we go. Inter Who needs a one, two, three? You sit on the guy until he can't breathe anymore, and they award it to me. I don't even win, they award it to me. Congratulations, you, Yokozuna, are the new Intercontinental Champion. It's time to seek a bigger challenge. Compete for the World Championship title. I believe I will do that next time, but for right now, I am so satisfied with. Yokozuna, it's now 9.30, 10 p.m. at Disney, and the fireworks display is going off, and he's so fucking proud of himself, as he should be, as we hear the musical shift of his theme. Isn't that nice? You thought, oh, this is boring, and then it goes on a little musical journey. It's a little melancholy, because he realizes that, you know, moments happen in life, they come and they go, and we have to appreciate them much like a firework that gives us a burst and then slowly fades away, and we have to appreciate what we have while we have it. That's, that's clearly the moral of this game. Oh, wait, there's a... This is ridiculous. Brett never did that. Lead analyst was Jim Dunn. Any relation to Kevin? Razor said, come on, I'm not rolling. Let's just jog out of here. Do we know anyone here? No. Undertaker said, where we go? Do we know this guy? Midway Development? Sculpture Software Projection? Al Mecklenburg? Yokozuna's not gonna roll either. Joe Buffington, is that anyone? Sean said, come on, Rusk Chancellor. Let's see what you got. Sounds of music? No Johnston, unfortunately. Bam Bam is just beating away at himself. I hate, I want some wrestling people that I recognize to work on this, but I guess not. Special thanks, maybe here. Lin Pew, do we know Lin Pew? Jim Hen, Adam Clayton? No, nobody. No, what a tremendous failure. And that's it. All right, I'll leave now, I promise.